It's about driving from Virginia to California in my van, which I've done seven times. You know how far that is? That's like, that's like at least 2,000 miles each way. And that's a lot of days in a van. And that's what I've been doing for a long time now. And I'm going to sing you a song. It's called Lost Soul Search. Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. I drove my van all the way to California. I drove my van all the way to California. Fast hard mark. Once again, hitting the road, taking off from Virginia. I'm at the, the Best Buy parking lot. It's a very lonely spot. These strip malls and uh, all these stores and stuff are lonely places when you're on tour. Um, because people they don't know what you're doing. But as a musician, most people, I guess they know what I'm doing because I actually have a sign on the side of my van here. I am so completely heartbroken. I found a girl that I truly love and I thought I wanted to spend the rest of my life with and I thought she did too, but something happened, I don't know what. And so now I'm moving out to California and who knows, maybe one day it'll work out with us. I fell in love and I fell apart. It's the name of my new EP. And here I am back in my van. I got a new van. I hope you can see all that stuff back there. Everything I own is in this van at the moment just about everything and hopefully this broken heart mends as soon as possible and, but I miss the girl I will totally miss her I miss all my friends and my family but I'm going to California to start a new life work this cool job start my music out there again and hey Virginia to California here we come Here I am out here, in, uh, right outside of Silver City, New Mexico, having some other thoughts as I drive down the road. I have some friends who are happily married with children, and uh, they wish they had the life that I did. So it seems just you gotta be, you just gotta like whatever life you've got. You make mistakes in life, and you learn from them, and then you just keep on being appreciative for what you have. So I guess I'm appreciative to have this beautiful van back here right now, be a musician, to entertain audiences. This was a great night in um, Silver City last night, playing for those people. They really like my music. Um, I really like them. That's important too, that I like the audience. Not just about them liking me. I gotta like them too. <laughs> it's true. Um, but yeah, 
I think you just gotta be happy with what you got. You have to have plans for the future and what you want for the future, but you can't just wait to be happy or content for the future and plans to come true. And when, for crying out loud, when the universe does give you the gift, when the universe gives it to you, take it and embrace it and accept it and don't question it. I um, think sometimes we can we can receive the gifts and think we're not even good enough to have the gift. Or we get the gifts and we don't even realize it, that we're getting the gift. And we don't appreciate it. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful. Um, so, and just be appreciative for the gifts you've already been given. And that you're getting every day. Is any of this making sense? I, don't, I think it is. It makes sense. But I think I'm back out here on the path again. See what I'm saying? driving me crazy at night.